problem we have with the slip lamp. Here is the SLT being lifted off the post. And you can see that when it drops into position and engages the pin, there's a pretty good gap there between the bottom of the slit lamp and the base of the pin. And that's because the pin is one and three eighths long and the, the well, the receptacle of the SLT here is not deep enough. And so what that does is it makes the illumination arm, when you swing it over, bump the top right there. You can see it's actually moving the, the swing arm, the rotation feature here. So it's, it's binding there right now, rubbing. And then here, the other problem is, here's what I've been calling the filter arm. I'm not sure what the correct name is, but you can see that it's not parallel to the objective of the binocular microscope. And that tells me that it, uh, this needs to be bent inward to make it work properly. I don't know what's gonna happen though if I were to actually do that. I think that this side here might actually touch then and that's not good either. And so because of that, this post of the illumination arm here strikes that and is rubbing that filter arm, filters themselves. So I'm pushing it over and now the mirror does a little bit too. So it all seems to come about because of this, this bend here. And so we have, this thing is riding too high and this thing is sticking out to the bottom line, thanks.